hello okay so for this video i decided that i'm going to try out different hairstyles every day for a week because i always only just wear my hair like this just down that's all i ever do and it's because i'm not very good at doing hairstyles i missed that recessive gene or whatever it is that other people get that they know how to do hairstyles i don't i'm not good at braiding i don't know how to lay my edges i just am not good at any of those things which is why which is why I always just wear my hair down. And also when I try other hairstyles, they don't turn out good. And then I wasted my time doing them, whatever. But I'm really gonna try. So I'm gonna try and do a different one every day for a week. So I decided to go to the store. I went to a beauty supply store, not Sally's, because like I feel like um, you should shop local. So I went to a local beauty supply store. Like I said, I don't do my edges. So I don't own like edge gel. I don't own any gel to be honest, but I purchased this one because I saw all the girlies were using it in their like TikTok videos and Instagram videos. And I figured like if everybody was using it, it was a good option and that I should purchase that. And then I also bought this little brush to go along with it. So um, watch me fail at these cause they're, they're going to be fails, but um, I'm gonna try anyways. I tried this before and it didn't work out well, so I don't really have high hopes for it, but I'm going to try it anyways. And see, I'm gonna try braiding it or twisting it all the way down and see if that helps. Probably won't, but we're gonna try it. Also, I raked this through my hair in case you're wondering what product I put in it. Okay, I'm gonna attempt using this little gel and see if that's going to help the twist. Okay, so I just ripped the hair out of this bottom one trying to do this one. So that's, it's not good, but it's better this hair should have been in that parting so we're gonna do that one again better definitely better I don't know. Actually, okay. With my hair down, it looks a lot better, first of all. So I don't hate it. Something, right? Okay, we're progress, progress, I don't hate it. But um, I don't necessarily think that it looks good either. Should I attempt to do my edges? As I mentioned before, actually I don't know if I mentioned that before, but I don't know how to lay my edges. And I think that it would look better if I did but I don't know how to do that and I don't want people to laugh that I roast me for not knowing how to do my hair. I mean, I bought the little brush at the store yesterday, so like I should try it, but I don't know the method. Do you put the gel first? Well, that's what I'm doing. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. Does that look right? That doesn't look right, right? How many swoops are you supposed to do? I saw a TikTok where this girl was like, uh, y'all trying to do 12 swoops, that's wrong. So what is the correct number of swoops that you do, you know? Cause I don't know. I will show you it at the end of the day and we'll, we'll give it a rating. Let's rate them from one to 10. That could be fun. I don't know. Anyways, bye. Okay, here are the final results of the hairstyle. The edge part that I tried doing, definitely a fail. We definitely need to work on that. Definitely need to stop saying definitely, but you know, have some room to improve, right? Um, so I just thought it'd be fun to ask other people's opinions. So one of my coworkers rated it a 7.8, another one rated it 8.5, and my mom rated it a 10. But um, she's very biased. She thinks my hair looks good all the time and I love her for that. I'll show you the back, even though we know I hate looking at the back of my hair, but I'll show you the back of it. Okay, seven out of 10. I don't know how people part their hair. Shout out to you if you know how to part your hair. I also am using this in my hair again today.
So I'm going to take it down again because I want to use the scrunchie instead of the rubber band because I feel like that would be a better idea. Um, is it? I don't know. In my head it is. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. It's kind of preppy looking. But, see, I feel like I should attempt the edge thing again, but it was so bad yesterday and I just don't know if I have that in me. So I, I think I'm gonna not. Okay, day two results. This is what the hair is looking like. Um, yeah, it's it's okay. It's not bad. It's a pretty basic hairstyle and the execution is just um it's not great. Um the curl definition is just not there. It's lacking in that department and I think it's because I kept pulling my hair in and out of scrunchies when I was doing the hairstyle. But more importantly, it rained and so it was humid and that obviously contributed to the lack of definition in my hair. Um as we know, I'm rating that. I would give it a 5.5. It's pretty basic and it's just, it, it doesn't look that great. It's not good. The execution's not it. Um, I did take initiative and ask my sister and my mom for their ratings. My sister gave it a nine because she is a liar. It is not a nine. It's definitely not a nine. Um, I did send it to her in a picture because she lives in Maryland. Um, so maybe, you know, her eyes were deceiving her. I have no idea why she rated it a nine. It's not a nine. I looked at that picture. It's not a nine, but um, thank you, Sasha. Love you. Love you the most. You're the, you're the best. Love you. Can't wait to see you. Okay, um, my mom, on the other hand, she rated it a 6.5, which is more accurate. Okay, so for today's hairstyle, I already have my hair done in the back because it was in three strand twist. I definitely think it's supposed to be a braid, but um, I just can't do that. This is what it's looking like right now. I don't really like the top part. That part's looking a little weird to me. Okay, as we know, this is the hairstyle. Um, I don't love it. It looks very thin in a three strand twist out. I don't know why. I'm assuming it's because I used a different product as the leave-in for it, but it just doesn't look as thick as it normally does, so I don't really love it. But I did wear it to work earlier today and my coworker rated it a 7.8, so I wanted to share that with you because I am going to put it in a bun because I'm over it. So, just wanted to let you know that. I don't know if I'm gonna get anyone else's ratings today just because it's not that good of a hairstyle, but I would rate it like a five. So, five out of 10. This is my hair left over from yesterday, but I think it's gonna be fine for today's hairstyle. So we're gonna go with it. So when I French braid my hair, I braid it to the side. I know that people say that that's wrong, but because I have curly hair, if I don't braid it to the side, then it's just like a little afro in the front and then the braid and it looks really freaking weird. So I braid it to the side, but I'm just telling you this because I saw a TikTok of this girl who has straight hair and she was saying that that's the wrong way to braid your hair, but like we have different hair types, so don't come for me, you know? Should I attempt the edge thing again? My sister told me, which I don't think she really knows how to do her edges either, so I take that with a grain of salt that the part that I'm missing about the whole edge thing is that you're supposed to wrap your hair or put a scarf around it after, which might be true. 
But um, I don't have a scarf. I have a bonnet. Does that work? I don't know. I watch videos of people do this since my failure at it and I still don't get it. I just don't understand. I think the problem is that I have these bald spots, like, you know, and so that's contributing to why it doesn't work. I don't know. We love a low bun moment. Um, the low bun would definitely look better if my hair was like styled, but it's not. And so it is what it is. My mom rated this hairstyle a seven and my sister rated it an eight and I will have to agree with her. I do think it's an eight, even though I do love the hairstyle. I think it is kind of basic. Um, I will show you what the back of it looks like. Okay, also let's just keep in mind that this is like the leftover from my hair yesterday. I used this in my hair again, raked that in. That's the product in my hair. I think it would be best if I map out where they're gonna go. This one's done, you can't see that, but that's okay. This isn't very much a tutorial because like I don't know what I'm doing, so I wouldn't want you to follow it. It definitely turned out better than I thought it was going to. Like, look at that. Pretty freaking good. Do I attempt the edges again? We know that's where everything goes wrong when I attempt the edges. I think my problem with the edges is that like, I don't have thick enough hair because I have bald spots maybe. Like, I feel like it doesn't look that bad in person, but then when I look at it on camera, I'm like, oh no baby, what is that? You know, so. It might just be my bald spots that are the problem. Also, I don't know what I'm doing, but like the bald spots I think are contributing to the problem. Okay, here's what the hairstyle looks like at the end of the day. I think it looks better in the mirror than it is on camera, so I don't know what it is that I'm doing wrong here. My sister gave this a rating of a nine and my mom gave it a 10. I'm gonna go ahead and read it a 9.3. I think it's one of the better hairstyles that I've done. Um, the execution of this was really good. It exceeded my expectations of that, but um, it does look a little weird, um, probably because I didn't do my makeup or wear like a real outfit, um, which isn't the hairstyle's fault, that's my fault. But also the edges could have been done better. I don't know how to do them better, but they could have been done better. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the back of it in case that matters to anyone. And that's what it looks like. This is what it looks like dry. I don't really love it, I don't know why. Like the end result just isn't it, but I think the execution was correct, so I'm not really sure. Maybe I should have left more down instead of up in the braid, I don't really know. It just doesn't look right on me. But also Jasmine's hair is a lot longer than mine, so maybe it's because my hair is too short. I'm not really sure. But um, anyways, my mom rated this a six out of 10 and I'm gonna go ahead and give it like a four out of 10. Like I don't love it. I wouldn't do it again because I don't love it. I don't, 
I don't know what went wrong. Moral of the story. This one requires a lot of parting and I think that's the only areas that it's gonna go bad because it seems pretty simple. So we shall see. So good. Okay. It's probably as good as that's going to get it. This is not how hers looked. Um, for a rating, I would give it a 4 out of 10. I don't think it's good, I don't think it's bad. I think it's a good like protective hairstyle, just the execution just wasn't it because I did it. So 4 out of 10, I did ask my family for rating. My sister gave it a 6.5 and my mom gave it a 9. Yeah, I just don't really like it. It is giving very much lavender from Matilda. Um, which is cute, you know, that was a cute hairstyle on her. Just not for me. I will show you the back of it. And that's what it looks like, four to 10. My dog is just, Sephora, sweetie, Sephora.